Tuesday, we are re-examining a murder case that occurred in North Portland several years ago. What was thought to be part of a serial murder case is now going in a different direction. Our friends from the Murder in the Rain podcast have more. Welcome back to True Crime Tuesday. Today we're seeking information regarding the unsolved murder of Essie Jackson. For listeners of the show, you might recall the murders of five young black sex workers in North Portland that were later attributed to Homer Jackson III, as discussed in our episode, Satan's Son. One of the murders Jackson was initially charged with was that of 23-year-old Essie Jackson, unrelated to Homer. Essie's partially dressed body was found in the bushes on March 24, 1983 in Overlook Park in North Portland. The medical examiner was able to determine her cause of death was asphyxiation via strangulation and that she had been sexually assaulted. They were unable to determine an exact date of death but believed she had been deceased for about a week. It took two days for Essie's body to be identified. At some point, Essie, the mother to a young child, was a victim of sex trafficking. Because of her 1980s status as a young black prostitute, there was hardly any coverage of her murder and a minimal investigation. When several other young women were found murdered in Portland, their cases, along with Essie's, were sent to the Green River Task Force. Nothing was found that connected Essie's murder to Gary Ridgway, the Green River killer who had been targeting sex workers in the Pacific Northwest. At first, Homer Jackson III was charged with Essie's murder. Years later, when it was found none of the DNA evidence recovered from the scene was a match to Homer, the charges were dropped. That was back in 2019, and since then, no one has been charged or named as a suspect or person of interest in Essie's murder. If you have any information regarding Essie Jackson's murder in mid to late March 1983 in Overlook Park, you can call Crime Stoppers of Oregon at 503-823-4357. There is no case number as it appears Essie's unsolved murder has been either forgotten or dismissed, even though no one has been held accountable for her death. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with another case. And remember, you can hear new episodes streaming weekly. Follow them on social media and listen to their investigations wherever you stream your podcasts. And tune into AM Extra every Tuesday morning for a new local case.